Welcome all. In this short video, we are going to see how to capture control plane or interface level packets on Cisco Catalyst switches itself uh, without doing any span or R span. So the feature is called monitor capture. This is the exec level command. You can define your monitor capture, monitor capture. I'm going to name it as test cap. And then you can see that either you can capture all the control plane traffic or any interface uh, related traffic. I'm going to capture an interface related traffic uh, because on this interface I have a dot one x authenticated host connected. I'll show you that. Which direction you want to find? I'll say both. I'll say match any, no field without any filter and buffer size I will keep it low as one. Buffer size is already set. My filter is already attached. So it looks like uh, uh, I already defined this filter. So that's why it's saying if you want to replace, I'll say yes. Once you define your uh, capture, that doesn't mean that it is started. So you need to actually go ahead and start this. Let us say test cap start. Started capture. Now I'm going to just uh, go enable and disable um, the authenticated port so that we can generate some traffic. But before I do that, I'm going to show you what I have connected here. So authentication session. You can see that I have a 6AD6 host, which is authenticated. So I'm just going to go and flap the port. <clears throat> by enabling and disabling the NIC card on the host itself, which will generate my DSCP traffic and trigger the authentication one more time. So I can see that it has got the uh, old IP address back. Let's verify. Yes, it does say authenticated. So now time to stop the, our capture. As you can see that capture is stopped and this this is the duration it has run and this is the this much packet it has retrieved so what to do with this uh, capture uh, you can either download it and or export it to your local machine and view as a wireshark with wireshark or if you don't want to do that you want immediate information you can actually show your monitor capture on device itself so monitor capture test cap buffer you can say buffer brief and it's going to give all the packets but this is like if you have run for longer duration you may have like thousands of packet uh, so you can actually filter that also you can instead of buffer brief you can say display filter and i'm going to say some dscp related parameter so boot p you can see that i have dscp request it is sending dscp request so i'm getting those so you can filter otherwise you can simply export it so how to export that to export that you need to actually first capture it uh, export it to your flash and then from there you can export it to your tftp or uh, FTP server in your setup. So you can say monitor capture, set the capture name, export location. I'm going to say export it to flash, test cap. You can name it anything, but I'm going to keep, use the same name. And don't forget to say pcap. So it's going to started successfully so you now if I do show flash I test cap you can see I have the test cap available and you can simply monitor uh, copy flash to your TFTP location wherever you want to do that
or you can read it from flash also capture and test cat sorry monitor capture file location flash test cap p cap and you can read it from flash also i would prefer to read it from wireshark uh, itself so that i can dig more into more detail of the packet level but it's very good way to troubleshoot like what kind of uh, packets you are getting on your interface all the traffics so very useful in troubleshooting thank you